Filming this review didn't go as planned. Let me explain. So Insta360 sent me this camera to test how it performs on a FPV drone. And you know what I did? I crashed it on my first flight and scratched the one inch matte lens. So this is the reason why you'll see a blurry spot in a few shots depending on the background. But in my defense it was a technical error on the drone, so not my fault. But the main reason why I'm angry is because I didn't record the crash. So guys, always be filming. I really wanted to show you what happened since it was a pretty rough crash. So I was actually positively surprised that there was no other damage. And at least I can confirm that this camera has a good build quality and it's pretty crash resistant. And since it has a modular system, all you need to do is replace the damaged module. It's not the cheapest solution, but it's there. You can use different components to build up or upgrade your camera and also the modular system of course makes it future proof. You can quickly and simply change it from being a 5.3k 1 inch sensor size camera to a 360 action camera or into whatever they decide to come up with in future. And yes, even though it's a modular system, it's waterproof, you can go up to 5 meter underwater, so I felt safe flying above the snow. The weather pretty much sucked this week, I had only a few hours of sun, so most of the shots are done in cloudy conditions and this is why the colors won't look as good as they do in sunny conditions. And another thing I wanted to do is to compare Insta360 with GoPro Hero 9 by flying them both on the FPV drone at the same time. So my friend has a 3D printer and he designed this mount for me, but the hole was a bit too small so I tried to fix it and the result was I broke it and there was no time to print another one. So I tried to fix it with a super glue and all I managed to do is to glue my fingers together. Fun times. But you know what they say, never give up, I still managed to get some cool content and in this video I'll share my experience with flying Insta360 1R camera on a FPV drone. I'll cover how the 360 module and the 1 inch sensor mod performed and I'll also share my thoughts on how it compares to GoPro Hero 9. Let's cover the 360 mod first. It enables you to capture your story from unique perspectives. The way I mounted it on the FPV drone is with an aluminium extension arm that you can get on Amazon. When mounted on the drone it looks ridiculous, like a flying giraffe, I mean looks really funny, but the result is fantastic. The footage definitely stands out. You can't do freestyle with this setup because it's too front heavy. I tried to do a roll and it was sketchy, a lot of prop wash happened, but the stabilization in 360 mod actually worked insanely good. So if you're cruising around without doing any flips and rolls, your drone should handle it easily. The image quality is good, best in sunny conditions of course. I've also tested it in a low light, after sunset, clouds covered most of the sky and this is why the colors look so dull and empty, there was no proper lighting, but the image quality is still very usable. Sadly I didn't have the ND filters for this dual lens mod, that's why the props look so weird, I had to crank up the shutter speed to expose it properly. But I had the ND filters for the 1 inch mod and you can get ND filters for every mod on the official Insta360 website. I like the image that comes out of the 1 inch mod, it has a lot of detail because of the bigger sensor and also a great dynamic range and a solid performance in low light. How good is the stabilization you ask? Well, in my opinion Hypersmooth on GoPro 9 is slightly better, but I was positively surprised with how good Insta360 stabilization is as well. The footage you're watching right now was shot in a very strong wind, the drone was struggling, a lot of shaking happening, but as you can see the footage is smooth. So don't worry, 1R stabilization is really good. Oh, and my settings when flying were a 5.3K, 30 frames per second, shutter 60, ISO 100 and a super view angle and I used the Insta360 standard ND filters. Regarding color science, it's good. I mean, no matter what camera you use in such cloudy conditions, the colors just won't pop out. And compared to GoPro, I think the colors, it's personal preference, not too much of a difference in my opinion. Anyway, you can color grade both to your desire and achieve the same look. But I still have mixed feelings with Insta360 because yes, most of the time it produces gorgeous colors with amazing dynamic range, but what annoys me that in certain situations you get this violet color fringing and I mean if you think that I did something wrong and if you know for a solution please do comment below this video, I mean this is what YouTube is all about, helping each other. So yeah, let me know. Now let's talk about what I don't like. Number one, touchscreen. Because of the modular design, it's smaller 
which makes it a little more difficult to scroll around, especially in the mountains with freezing fingers, it's not really touch friendly. I frequently struggled to change the settings, however you also have an app which enables you to see live preview and adjust setting easily. So at the end of the day, not a big deal. Second thing I don't like is the camera weight, because both Insta360 one inch mod and GoPro Hero 9 are very heavy. Not a problem on a 7 inch quad, but far from optimal for flying on a Cinewhoop or even on a 5 inch racing quad. Extra weight drains the battery faster and I got around 1 minute less flight time. However, Insta360 recently released a new camera SMO 4K, which is a stripped down version of the Insta360 ONE R 4K mod and I might give it a go because it looks very promising. And if you flew with the SMO 4K already, uh, comment below and let us know about your experience. So should you get an Insta360 or a GoPro for doing cinematic FPV? Well your decision is going to be based on what's more important to you and which camera system you prefer. If you need a future proof modular camera that can shoot action video and a 360 video, One R is the winner. Insta360 one inch mod also has a slightly better video quality and a better dynamic range. But GoPro wins in the stabilization category and if you have a GoPro Hero 9, the 5K image image quality is not far behind. In my opinion, for doing freestyle FPV it really doesn't matter what camera you use, you get a similar result from both, for, but for doing cinematic FPV the option to get battery smooth footage with real steady is huge. So in 80% situations I will go with GoPro and for 360 footage I will go with Insta360 because of the smaller sized form. Let us know in the comments below about your opinion regarding Insta360 and let's continue the discussion there.